Hey everybody, and welcome to Hexiled Gaming. I'm Scott, and I've got a match of X-Wing 2nd Edition for you here on Tabletop Simulator. This match between Peter on the left and Merrick on the right. Uh, this is round three of the Kyber Cup. Both of these players, undefeated so far. Got double Separatist fire sprays on the left. Looking super sweet with those animated chips. On the right side, a little bit of scum salad. Han, autopilot drone, Guri, and Cavill. Now, did he start with the autopilot drone outside of the ship? No, so it's not going to start ticking down those charges yet. Some players like to have the autopilot drone outside, tick all the way down, then put it back in the, uh, the Falcon so that you can launch it. But at this point, 2-0 Merrick. Let's see how he uses it because it seems to be effective, whatever he's doing. Turn away from Han, rotates the turret. A little bit of a fake out there. You think Han's going to sit back and um, fortress or head straight at you because the turret's facing forward? Nah. We do have Zam on both sides of the board. Zam crew on the left. Zam crew on the right. Zam pilot on the left. What flavor of Zam on the left? We've got Perceptive Co-Pilot, Thermals, Deadman Switch, and Hull Upgrade. Django with Lone Wolf. Dooku Thermals, Transponder, and Hull Upgrade. All right. People moving away from Contraband. Or discovering how good transponders can be. Cavill behind Han is weird. I mean, you could hard three. Y Wing's got that, right? Oh, it's red. You can hard two. Easy. Advanced sensor Gurry. No other bells or whistles. Dorsal turret. Ion torpedo cavil is the thing that's fascinating to me. Cavill did start with the turret out the right. Who does have player one? Because we do have multiple fives. Nobody moved the tokens. We'll just look at the log here. Zam, then Gurry, and Cavill. So fire sprays moving and shooting first. We've got I-6s and Han and... Uh, Django. Normally, I would think with Zam crew, because you start with no charges, you roll around with You Should Thank Me. That's the one where you, when you get shot, you can recharge and take a target lock. Zam pilot, on the other hand, actually starts with two, so you probably roll with You Better Mean Business for the revenge shot. One hard turn from Guri. And the boost in. Mm, you could link it, but it shuts down advanced sensors, so he's not going to. Cavill, three straight. Moves through that large base, takes a focus. Nothing to lock. Does have the turret out the side. It is a dorsal. Cavill can get the extra dice, but only when you get into range two. I don't think Django's going to be rushing to do that. Oops. 
Oops. Hit the range three on the wrong ship. Here's Django going for a lock. Transponder code's going to go off. Hmm. I wouldn't think you'd want to get rid of it that early, but... It does do some work. It gets the focus off of Cabal, so no defensive mods. Han. Three bank. Han does get extra dice for taking obstructed shots. Not going to happen this time. Um, also stress, which you probably not going to see a whole lot of on the fire sprays. They, they can talent, they can 4k. They're not doing a lot of linked actions, for instance. Just takes a focus. Any SOE stuff? Nah. Honestly, what I'm seeing here, you do have range two from, oh no. Oh well. I was gonna say you have range two to Han, and Han only gets two dice? Dooku a blank, because he took a focus. Make sure there's only one possible attack die coming in your direction. Um, I think he dooku'd for a crit. Double natural evades. Didn't need that focus. Cavill's out here doing backflips. Here's Han. This is what I thought you might save Dooku for. Now, if you Dooku'd for a blank on this, boom. One hit. Let's see if that matters to Django. He does have Lone Wolf. Lone Wolf the blank. No reason to keep it around. All right. Didn't need Dooku. Confirmation bias. Gurry. Range 3. 3v3. Three. Three we'll see what that Zam condition is. This would be a bad time to have You Better Mean Business because you could... Um, you could take a bonus attack, but there's nothing to shoot. Three hits! Ooh-wee! Zam, what did you do? Did you boost? You better mean business was the card of choice. In retrospect, it seems bad because you could have at least gotten a lock and extra charges if you had known this was the engagement that was going to happen. Didn't know it. Just check back in the log. Is it, did, did Zam boost? Yeah. Well, you didn't take any mods. And now you are three shields down. That was an unmodded shot from Gurry, right? Uh, we got to go back and give some retro natties. Sorry, Gurry. I was caught up in the moment. Didn't give you the natties you deserve. Unless fringe scenario, you should always do you should thank me to open. No way. Not on Zam Pilot. Now, if I knew I was coming this direction, and I wasn't going to be facing the enemy, yeah, I'd go. I still, I mean, if I've got the two charges for the possible shot, I would set that up. Who knows? The uh, the Zam strategies still being defined. Don't think we'll see any bombing here. No reason to. Cabal. How are you feeling?
Let's try and get a better look at Han's base. Yeah, I'm wondering, would you want to turn in on Django instead? Too hard from Zam coming in. Double perceptive co pilot focus. Might have been nice to boost forward to try and get Gurry, but I'll cause a bump from Gurry so you don't have to take the shots. I was a little worried about being too close to Cavill for Ion Torps, but that is not a problem. One forward from Curry, she's just going to arc dodge that. Yeah. Classic Gurry. Ooh, Broad Cloak. 500 bits. Thank you very much. Very much appreciated. Django with the one bank in. He is in dorsal turret range. We'll see how much he cares. Three straight from Han. Yeah, you should probably just do you should thank me here. Especially if you're planning to arc dodge, which you should with Gurry. Han's kind of the best target, so... Rotate. Oh, gonna go for the trick shot out the back into Django. <laughs> All right. It would have been a 2v2 versus Zam anyway, so. Here's Django. Spins the focus for three into Cavill. Guaranteed to take two. Can get the BM of 8? I'll hover over the natty button. Negative. In for a... Ooh. Thinking about it. Spends it. Takes 2. Stays above half. All right. Han obstructed. Two plus trick plus Han for four. V4. Range three obstructed. One hit. One hit, one eye, one, uh, one evade. So, a lot of dice, but it's all show. Only got one shot. Is it range one? It is range one on Han. 4v1. Three hits. Han. Taking all of it. Um, he can, at some point, put damage on the autopilot drone. Yeah, he's not going to do it yet. It is, you should thank me, gets a charge and a lock. Guri, realizing she forgot her focus. Let's see how bad she would have liked it. Yeah. Three. Still good. One eye takes two on Zam. 
Yeah, the extra damage would have been half with that focus. You better mean business. So it could take a bonus attack. But it has to get has to be against the defender or the attacker. So can't attack Gurry. RIP. Here's the dorsal turret shot from Cavill. Wishing he had that focus for three. Would have guaranteed something going through. Two dice from Django with Lone Wolf and a force point. Guaranteed to take one. All right, back to dials. Zero to zero. Shields down on Zam. Single shield off on Django. Shields down on Han. And Cavill one away. You drop a bomb with Zam this turn. I would assume Gurry's doing a one hard right or a one bank. Zam gotta go fast. Yeah. Fifty-seven minutes left. Han. One bank right? Can you get over that debris? I'm always looking for some kind of tricky autopilot deployment. I don't know if this is the round for it. But you could deploy the drone, coordinate back to Han, bump into the drone, basically do a stop with an action. How much we got left on Cavill? Five. Because, yeah, he's kind of 1v1-ing Django right now. I almost wonder if he two hards and barrel rolls back. Would he be able to cause a bump? I mean, Zam's just going to kill him. Does drop a thermal. Not two. Not being greedy. Does the one. Four forward from Zam. That's not far enough from Gurry. <laughs> a one bank from Gurry, a barrel roll backwards. She still got you. One bank from Cavill. Looking at the can I barrel roll. Yep. Yep. Not bad. We'll see if Django banked or went straight. I think the straight is probably safe from bumping the bank. Should get caught. Hmm. 
It goes for the bump on Gurry. Hmm. I think Gurry could have one-hearted and then barrel rolled and actually shot Zam. Didn't want to risk it though. So Gurry will get the focus. Did Capo arc dodge Zam? We'll see in a bit, but it's it's close. Two hard right from Han. He's got a back arc shot. It's not great. He's already got a lock from... From Zam. Rotates the turret. Wants a nice trick shot. Gurry, please take your focus. End of activation. Sorry, let's do things in order. Curry does get the focus. Django, range three. Three V four. Gonna dooku his dice for a crit, maybe. Oh, hoo -hoo, no need. Hit, hit, crit. Four dice has a focus. Gonna take one, but you got the shield. Won't have attack mods back into Django though. Let's see if. Oh. Oh, he Django'd. Curry's dice. Oh no, so it does get the crit through. It's disabled power regulator. That's gonna be an ionized Gurry. Ooh, that Django trigger though. Han. A hit and two crits. Not bad. Range three obstructed. Yeah. Four dice for Django. And three natural evades, you bad boy. Wow. A shot out the back. So didn't have anything out the front. Wow, the arc dodge from Cavill, though. Two hits. Range three, two dice for Han. One of eight takes one. And yeah, he's doing what I, I would probably do, which is take damage on Han until you are either going to take a crit or are going to reach your half points threshold, then start putting damage into the autopilot drone. Um, you should thank me. Zam is fully charged. Han's already got the lock. Gurry. Range three. One hit. Doesn't have that focus. Would it have made a difference? Range three. Cavill. Nada. And you better mean business. That's a lot of you better mean business with uh, nothing to shoot. <laughs> Nicely done. All right, 49 minutes left in the game. Zero to zero. But Gurry is ionized. 
Han's not in a great place. Could drop two thermals from Zam on Guri. And the game's a lot harder if it's Cavill and Han versus double fire sprays. What can you do with Han? Three bank, right? Can you... Do you hard two onto the debris to stay relevant? Do you deploy the autopilot drone now and give yourself a little stop? <laughs> Claire Nettis, thank you very much. Enjoying your streams as well. You've really upped the uh, redemption game. Where do you go with Cavill? He is deploying the autopilot. All right. Coordinates the focus. He's just going to one forward. What's his arc? Left and right? Okay. Is this the last game of the day? It is. And then we'll be on to Friday and happy hour. Here come the bombs. Two thermals should both be hitting Guri this turn. One hard from Zam. Gonna point that back arc towards Guri. Cavill, one bank. Needs to turn that turret and does. Get the shot on Zam that way. Won't be modded. Actually denies. No, no, no. Gurry's close enough to get the focus. So that's something. She can't focus natively, so she can't do anything here. But Zam actually stayed close enough to... Well, that's curious. Django has no shot on Guri at the moment. If the plan was to collapse on an ionized Guri, that has been left solely to Zam. There's the stop from... The bump from Han. So he's not going to get a shot on Zam, it looks like. Ooh, this thermal. So it's going to be two on Guri and one on Cavill. First one on Gurry takes a crit. Yikes. Direct hit. Gurry on one. This bomb, this thermal could kill her. And he's going to Dooku for the damage, guaranteeing the kill. Wow. 
the flex from Django. He was so sure that she would naturally take one, turns away, and he's like, you know what? You're going to die at the end of activation phase. I don't even need to worry about this. Cavill takes a strain. So this Django shot is going to be 4v0. Spends the focus. Four hits. Cavill on one. And he stands a good chance of getting taken off by Zam. She needs two results in a 4v1. With focused dice. That is probably a dead Cavill. And this game will probably be Han versus two fire sprays. Two eyeballs and a crit. He's got the focus, might as well spend it. Hit it, crit. Into Django. Range three obstructed again, so three dice. Four dice for Django. Doesn't have any force. Doesn't have Lone Wolf anymore. Takes hit, crit. Well, shields. So Cavill probably shoots into... Oh, sorry. We gotta engage with Zam first. That's how player order works. Zam's gonna shoot first. Uh, he will get simultaneous fire when he probably dies. Oh, it's range two. Well, there you go. That is a dead Cavill. And there are two crits in there, so two chances at weapons failure or blinded. Loose stabilizer. And blinded. Yep. Now, rolling additional dice is not a mod. So he should still be able to take a 4v1 in Django. And honestly, he doesn't have any mods anyway, right? One hit. One evade. All right. So that is quite the round there. Loses Gurry and Cavill. The bombs. I mean, I guess the story is that disabled power regulator on Gurry. Just completely shut down one of the best arc dodgers in the game with an ion. One twenty four to zero. You're one away from half on Zam. Three on Django. A lot of time left. Need some big, lucky, obstructed shots. Hasn't had any so far, but he's been taking range three obstructed shots. So they've been 4v4. Four four four. Yep. 
drone goes back in reserve. Three talent roll. Hey, there's your stress on a fire spray. Don't think Han's going to be around to capitalize on that stress with Lando's title, Lando's Falcon title. We do have Zam fully charged on Han, so he's probably... You know what? He's the last ship, and the whole reason to bring two charges... No, I'm not going to say the whole reason. One of the biggest reasons to have this crew is for the bonus attacks. That is charged up and ready to go. He's going to be rolling with You Better Mean Business. He's already got a lock on Zam. One bank right from Han. Would he want to boost? Would that get you a shot? All right, back to dials. Stresses am one, two, three, forward, one bank. No rush for Peter. Peter. Why does Han's silhouette go off the overlay? Hmm. Strange. You could deploy the autopilot drone again. One forward. Bump. Uh, I don't think that gets you an obstruction. Maybe if you... Two forward and Zam goes fast enough. Too straight. And the boost. Yeah, you could, I mean, if, yeah, the system phase is gone, but I guess if you had stayed there, you probably could have gotten a long range shot. Hard turn from Han. Takes a focus, he's already got a lock there on Zam. Django shouldn't have anything. All right, obstructed, 4v4, Zam boosted, and whenever Zam boosts, tends to get punished. Spin that lock. Hey, gets the crit. I might have checked for Dooku range there. Oh, well. Dooku's a tough card. Takes one. That'll still get you half. Loose stabilizer. So points on the board for Merrick. 47 to 123. Better mean business exposed on Zam. So we could see Zam shoot into Han... Han used Zam to shoot Zam, and then Zam used Zam to shoot back to Han. They could both take bonus attacks. <laughs> and Zam like, do I even want to? He's still got a focus and an obstructed shot. Nope. Opts not to shoot.
All right. Under 34 left. Han running out of obstructions. Does Zam care about loose stabilizer? Has five hull left. And probably just one forward. I would suspect... That Zam's going to one forward. And if I think Zam's going to one forward... Maybe you three forward Han and give the possibility of a boost out of arc. Or maybe uh, she's going to move faster. You still get out of that with a three forward boost. Fixes stabilizer. She's hoping for the bump. One hard from Django. Focus. I think that three forward boost would have worked. Well, he's going to end up stressed no matter what. And he probably arc dodged. Is that in range two? He's going to Dooku for a crit. Yeah. Taking a crit on Han. Let's see what it is. Oh, he takes it on the autopilot drone. Nice. Django, no shot, so it should be a range one. Unmodded 3v2. Trail mix. One hit. One evade. Nice little gambit there. It does not pay off. And he's got to go over the debris again. Hmm. <laughs> Chris, glad to hear it. Glad you synced up your uh, your lights with the stream. I have few lights in the living room, but I've never synced it up with anything. I think I tried, but it, it just seems to be random. It doesn't feel like it's actually responding to anything. But maybe I did it wrong. So Han, I think he's got the same blues as a fire spray. One, two, three, four, one bank. Is Scott right? Boom. three forward and run away on computer it works great okay maybe that was my problem under 30 now do you drop oh drop drop a thermal of course, you've only got one left on Zam, but what do you worry about? You're in a position to take some chances. I suspect Han would one bank right. But you never know. Drop it with a two. Because I also thought about the three forward from Han trying to disengage and get rid of stress. Yeah, here it is.
too hard away. I I thought she might bank. This doesn't seem like it has good back arc potential. Thinking about that lock, maybe. Nope, because of the focus. One hard turn in from Django. Focus. There's the three straight. Yep. I'm gonna roll for the debris. That is too far from Dooku. Rolls a crit anyway, naturally. Oh no. He rolled a crit, right? Oh, he took it on the autopilot. On my screen, I have the autopilot covered up, so I can't see him. I didn't see the shield flip. My bad. Um, here's a lot more damage. Power regulator again on Han. So it takes one eye on this turn. Under 26 now. So you've got two turns. Next turn you'll have two ions, the next turn you'll have three, for you are fully ionized, still stressed. No need to drop any bombs. I would think you'd one bank to get rid of the stress. Unless you're thinking two turns ahead where you want to be when you are ionized. Maybe you hard turn right. Ship right. stressed again so you can't even use the autopilot drone I do want to see this autopilot drone pop out the back and do some spicy stuff maybe a block be great if it could explode Hard three. Keeps the stress. Still not eligible for help from the drone. Wow. 
I don't think you want to go towards the board edge. Your hard turns aren't great. They all take you onto that debris. Twenty-three. How much do we have left on Han? He's getting pretty close. Four hole. Yeah, I think I didn't get all the damage in there. Hard turns onto the debris. He's double stressed now. He wanted to make sure he had that broadside lined up. Does not take any crit this time. So Han is fully ionized. He's going to drift from one debris cloud to the next. I don't even, I mean, if you're Peter, like, you don't need to engage. Sit back and count your MOV. One fifty-nine to 47, 20 minutes left. Django's set. Zam. Oh, we're activating. There's the two heart from Zam. Looking at a boost. Boost right. Wow, okay. And blocks Django. Not trying to take shots from Han. Although it would be great to get over there and control the uh the debris roll with dooku focus power regulator is gone no shots and let's see is the debris in the guides next turn no but he is double stressed. That is going to be tough to overcome. 19.
does an ion clear stress? So he he was ion he was stressed, then he hard turned onto a debris, so he was double stressed. Then he was ioned, so he relieved one and got a new one from the second debris. So yeah, it's it's stacked. Too hard from Zam. Double focus. One bank from Django. Focus. One straight from Han. Gets off the debris. Relieves one stress. Still has another. But I think his shot to Django is going to be... Yeah. Unobstructed. Two unmodded dice. Dooku's for a crit. Hit it, crit. No mods on Han. Takes hit, crit. Stunned. Shot back. 2v3. Blank focus. On to the next one. Probably try and one bank right. Can you go straight without hitting that? Yeah, you could. You could do a two straight with Han if you were so inclined. Coming down to 15, but Han's on two. We could see that autopilot drone emergency deploy. It would, when you emergency deploy, you automatically take a crit, right? So you could take it direct and explode immediately, which would be fun. Here's the one hard from Zam. One forward from Django. Two forward. Hops over the debris, relieves the stress. Goes for the boost. Heading for the board edge. Going out on his own terms. No. Here's a 3v1. Dooku's for a crit. And that is it. Hit crit going through on Han. Let's see if they emergency deploy this drone. Weapons failure. He will get to shoot, but now he's got a two dice gun. <laughs> oh, he's gonna. Oh, boy. He's gonna use Zam. You better mean business, but he's got weapons failure.
No, oh, he rolls double crits into a single crit. Then Django rolls double blanks into a single blank. So here's Han's normal attack, and it's nothing. I mean, even with a crit, unless it was a direct hit that went through, because of the whole upgrade. Here comes the autopilot drone. Gonna take a crit. Let's see. He can take direct hit. It is a fuel leak. Down to one. The drone stands alone. Exactly. I don't even... Does it get to shoot? If you emergency deploy past your... Oh, he shoots at one anyway. And we're shooting at six. All right. We are in the end of this game. One hull. Autopilot drone. You just need to move fast enough that you're not taking the damage when it blows up. Although you may not even care. You're past half on Zam. You would take... You need two to take damage on Django or half points on Django. But it's a crit, right? When it blows up. Dropping bombs. I think the drone moved early. Now he's going to roll right. No, he, I mean, he's... He may actually be far enough away. No, well. Blocking. Oh man, if, if Django did like a slow roll, he's gonna keep adjusting because he, he's, he's afraid that the one, oh, I don't think that's where you want to go, my guy. There you go. Hard one from Zam. Double focus. And yeah. Django's not sticking around for that. Goes for the boost. Alright. Gonna roll for one. Can he dooku it? Is he in range two? He is not. Oh, he dies from the, uh, the charges. Alright. That is it. Congratulations to Pyotir. Butchering that name. My apologies, but uh, you did great. GG. Moving on in the event. Undefeated so far. Merrick, tough break. That ionized Gurry was uh, super sad. But uh, great game. Thanks to both players. Thanks to everybody for watching. That'll do it for this one. Until next time, this is Scott from Hexile Gaming. Signing off.